sound line sound line sound line ठीक है
Imagine there's no country. It isn't hard to do. Nothing to kill or die for and no religion too. Imagine all the people living life in peace. A very good evening to the esteemed guests, the dignitaries, the friends of the Rotary and the friends in the Rotary Fraternity 3262 and ladies and gentlemen. I am Rotary actor Shivangi Dash of the Rotary Act Club of Bhuvaneshwar Ekamrik Shetra Ananya. And I am Rotary actor Rohit Mohanty of the Rotary Act Club of Bhuvaneshwar Ekamrik Shetra Ananya. We feel privileged to extend our warm welcome to each of you present here for the seminar on peace and harmony through cultural exchange extravaganza, diversity, equity, and inclusion. Finally, after a really long time, of scuffle through different phases of world pandemic quagmire, we are here together again, enchanted with sparkles of peace and harmony. Peace and harmony is a fundamental prerequisite of our life and an ideal path to follow. Many ideas contribute to the logic of peace and harmony, such as dealing with disputes, staying calm and focused, resolving conflicts, adjusting, adapting, neutralization, following the middle way principle, etc. Peace is the long-lasting value that harmonizes the persistent and progress of Homo sapiens on Earth. Peace and harmony is indeed high wisdom. On this note, I shall now invite the guests for today's function. May I now invite Rotary and Dr. Bani Sengupta, the president of the Rotary Club, to join the meeting. I am profusely elated to take an opportunity to welcome our chief guest of the day, the Rotary International President nominee, Rotarian Madame Jennifer E. Jones to join the meeting. I also request the respected First Lady and the District Governor, Rotarian Prabhudatta Subudi, DGN, Rotarian Santanu Kumar Pani, DGE, President-elect Rotarian A.N. Patnai, PDG, Rotarian Siba Brata Dash, and Program Organizer, Rotarian Dr. Smita Sinha to please join the stage. Thank you guests for joining us. May I request our President Ma'am to call the meeting to order. The meeting is called to order. Now, the time has come for all of us to stand up with our heads held high, attention in posture and patriotism in mind, to sing the Indian National Anthem followed by the National Anthem of Canada.
seated and make yourselves comfortable. May I now request our guests to enlighten the inaugural session with the lighting of the lamp, followed by a floral tribute to Paul Harris. Vakratunda Mahakaya Surya Koti Sama mark of greenery and the most amiable gift from our mother nature. We shall now have the potted plants to be presented to our respected guests as a token of gratitude by our interactor Kaushika Dash. I'm welcoming the guests with the potted plants. So with this, we heartily welcome you for today's grand seminar. I would like to take this opportunity to request the host club president, Rotarian Dr. Bani Sengupta, to kindly address the gathering with her inspiring words. Madam, please. Namaste, everyone. A very good morning to RIP and Jennifer Jones, our honorable chief guest of the evening from Canada. Good evening to our honorable District Governor of RI District 3262, Rotarian Somaranjan Mishra, DGE Rotarian Santanupani, DGN Rotarian Prabhudat Subodhi, PDG Rotarian Sivabrata Das. I all welcome our guests from USA, Dr. Nalini Rao and Ms. Maya Rao Murthy, who will be rendering a Bharat Natyam dance performance. I welcome our Chartered President, Rotarian Rajalakshmi Mahapatra, who will be performing an Odyssey dance. I uh, welcome uh, RCC volunteers and villagers of our adopted tribal village, Chunakoli, who will be performing a Santali tribal dance, a very primitive dance form of Natyap tribes of central India. Ms. Prithinanda Rautrai, Ms. Sharmili Singh Pati, Mr. Hare Krishna Patnaik, and Rotarian Girish, Girish Prashad Mahanti and Rotarian Bani Sengupta are the singers of this evening. I welcome Rotarian Dr. Smita Sena, the program coordinator of the event, who has worked tirelessly to make this event possible. I welcome the anchors, Ms. Shivangi Das and Mr. Rohit Mahanti, the members of Ananya, the Rotary Club of RCB Akamra Kshetra. The children of Adruta and Shelter Home, all are Rotarian and non-Rotarian friends from all over the world. The technical team, press and media friends, on behalf of Rotary Club of Bhubaneswar, Ekamur Shetra, I welcome you all to this international seminar. The Rotary Club of Bhubaneswar, Ekamur Shetra, under Rotary International District 3262, in association with Rotary Community Corps, Arman and Rotary Club Anenna is organizing an international seminar on peace and harmony through cultural exchange on diversity, equity, and inclusion with an exclusive evening of cultural extravaganza, the Unision. We are indeed very much fortunate to have with us Rotarian RIPN Jennifer E. Jones as our honorable chief guest. She is a source of inspiration to all Rotarians, particularly the lady Rotarians, as she has been nominated to become Rotary International's president for 2022-23. A groundbreaking selection that will make her the first woman to hold that office in the organization's 150 year history. During these difficult times of global COVID, pandemic, when everything is being regulated by the new rules and regulations following the COVID norms, members of Rotary have come forward with the new ideas to connect with the new normal post 
COVID era. Our vision and mission uh, is to bring about peace and harmony through cultural activities, connecting people from all over the world, exchanging culture and spreading peace and happiness. This year's vision of RIP Rotarian Holgan Nack is Rotary opens opportunities. So all Rotarians have worked on this scheme, exploring all possible avenues, even during the pandemic situation, braving the lockdown period. During this Rotary year, 2020-21, our club, which manages its own funds, has done tremendous work, bringing peace and happiness in the lives of several people. Our flagship projects in the adopted tribal village Chunakali and a slum Damana Basti, which are both situated in the suburbs of Bhubaneswar, the capital city of Orissa in Eastern India, have been aimed at building peace and harmony in the communities. The club strategy has been achieving peace and harmony through elevation of poverty and uplift the tribal and economically backward people and a marginal population. This has been accomplished by undertaking sustainable skill development projects in these two villages. To mention a few, our tr club trained some of the villagers on mushroom cultivation and ornamental fish cultivation with the support from the government of India. Our main objective was to make these people self-reliant through additional livelihood support, indirectly creating an environment of peace and harmony in the community. In the Rotary year 2020-21, our club for the first time has formed a peace building cell to address various issues related to domestic violence. In this regard, we had conducted numerous workshops and projects involving different categories of the society. We celebrated International Youth Day, International Peace Day, Vigilance Awareness Week, International Girl Child Day, birthdays, anniversaries, and festivals by holding seminars, essay and drawing competitions, debate competitions, distribution of food and clothes in the slums, adopted village, schools, orphanages, and also old age homes. Our club members have connected with different categories and class of people. To further accomplish the mission of peace and harmony, we are organizing this international seminar along with cultural program in which participants from different sections of the societies of various countries all over the world are participating. This is a step forward to spread peace and harmony in everyone's life. Justifying the theme of our seminar, we plan our activities in such a way that the beneficiaries of our projects belong to different diverse backgrounds. For instance, one of our projects undertaken this year was aimed at bringing joy and happiness in the lives of the beautiful children of Adruta, a children's home. Today, we are very happy to have them with us in yet another program of a club and district. This event truly epitomizes the ancient Indian philosophy of Basudha Vaya Kutumbakam, which translates to the world that the world is one family. We have performers from across the world, our chief guests from Canada, the dance forms from all over India. How better could we have an event on peace and harmony? Thank you. Peace is liberty in tranquility, says Marcus Tully Cicero. Namaste, I bonjour madame. Rotarian Jennifer Jones, RIPN, DG, Rotarian Swamiranjan Mishra, First Lady, Rotarian Sarita Mishra, Council of Governors, Friends in Rotary and Friends of Rotary. The word peace comes from the Anglo-French word peace, meaning peace, silence, reconciliation. The word harmony comes from the Greek word harmonika, meaning conquer, joint agreement. Peace and harmony together when dealing with dispute and resolving conflict in unbiased manner and judiciously with neutralization and middle way principle to further the welfare of each individual and mankind as a whole. Before transmitting the notion of peace and harmony among others, an individual needs to possess peace within themselves where their body and mind should be in unison. Even one person can transmit the notion of peace and harmony among others, and it is each individual's responsibility 
to maintain that peace and harmony is maintained in the society, in the concept, live and let live. However, peace and harmony in the society are disrupted with the increase in violence and chaos, hunger and malnutrition, unemployment and frustration. Science and technology are supposed to make our life comfortable. In contrast, we have at times misused good inventions for various harmful purposes and eventually in harming mankind as a whole. The root of most of our trouble is the disruption of peace and harmony between one aspect of our life to another. Earlier, people knew how to live in peace and harmony with nature and other animals, but with the realization of power and greed, it was us who harmed their harmonized relation with the environment. This change in the way of living is not at all desirable because the effect of ruining the harmony and peace in the ecosystem will have to be faced by us. We have already seen the impact of breaking the ecosystem, the pandemic that has disturbed our life over a year by now. Peace is not always the absence of violence. Apart from the external global peace, we need to have inner peace that results from a peaceful inner disposition. Music and dance can provide many unique insight into transforming conflict and achieving peace. Unity is when we all sing in the same note. Harmony is when we sing different notes and they are beautiful together, says David Lamott, a musician and peace activist. Dance and music impact brain function and human behavior, including by reducing stress, pain, and symptoms of depression, as well as improving our cognitive and motor skill, spatial temporal learning, and neurogenesis, which is the brain's ability to produce neurons. It changes our ability to perceive time, tap into primal fear, reduce seizure, make us better communicators, make us stronger and boost our immune system, assist in repairing brain damage, make us smarter, evokes memories, helps Parkinson's patient, change our ability to perceive time, etc. Equity seeks us, seeks to ensure fair treatment, equality of opportunity, and fairness in access, access to information and resources for all. We believe this is possible in an environment built on respect and dignity. Inclusion builds a culture by belonging, by actively inviting the contribution and participation of all people. We believe every person's voice adds value and we strive to create balance in the face of power differences. We believe that no one person can or should be called upon to represent an entire community. Diversity means understanding that each individual is unique and we must respect and accept it. We must respect others' culture and way of life. With these notes, we conceived the idea of organizing a seminar on the theme, peace and harmony through cultural exchange, diversity, equity, and inclusion with an exclusive evening of cultural extravaganza unison. Peace is achievable and life can be harmonious when we go along with the flow of life and live in unison with others. The planet Earth can smile and bless us even in these difficult days of pandemic if love encompasses all living beings and our environment. Let us now spread the message of love and world, world peace through dance and music. Let there be no barriers of class or creed race or religion for we need to become both in for the inner peace of mind and outer global peace. We are very fortunate that Rotary International President nominee Madame Jennifer Jones who herself is an epitome of gender equality and diversity being the first woman who will occupy the highest leadership position in Rotary International in 2022 accepted our proposal to be the chief guest of the occasion and to encourage us. Merci beaucoup, madame. After the inaugural session, we have scintillating cultural session Unison, where we will showcase the dance and music recital by the true ambassadors of peace from across the world, both young and not so young, professionals and non-professional, privileged and not so privileged, Rotarians and non-Rotarians in one platform. Our audience 
also comprised of both elite people and people from the villages and children of Adruta children home, justifying the theme, diversity, equity, and inclusion. Thank you, madam. Thank you all. Merci. Thank you so much, ma'am. We got a vivid idea about the motive for today's function by your precise words. I would humbly request doc Rotarian Dr. Sena, ma'am, to please be here again for introduction of our respective chief guest, the Rotary International Re President nominee, Rotarian Madam Jennifer E. Jones. Rotarian Jennifer E. Jones is the founder and president of Media Street Production a 25-year-old award-winning media company in Windsor, Ontario. She is a proud member of the Rotary Club of Windsor Roseland. Her talents have strengthened Rotary reach and impact through many roles, including as trustee of the Rotary Foundation, RI Vice President and co-chair of the End Polio Now, Make History, Today Campaign, raising funds alongside Bill and Melinda Gates and their foundation. Rotarian Jennifer is a leader in cultivating experiential fundraising opportunities such as Rotary's Polio Golf Day with Jack Nicholas in Jupiter, Florida, US, which raised over $5.25 million for polio eradication in one single day, or the innovative virtual COVID-19 Rotary response event that raised money for COVID-19 relief projects and showcased Rotary's response across the globe. Working alongside political figures, celebrities, and global leaders, she uses her voice to raise awareness and hundreds of millions of dollars to eradicate disease, support peace, and provide clean water and sanitation in developing areas of the world. Her skill as an expert storyteller inspires hope and promises and motivates people to take action. She has received many honors and recognition, including Rotary Service Above Self Award and the Citation for Meritorious Service, the YM Peace Medallion, the Queen's Diamond Jubilee Medal, and the Wayne State University Peacemaker of the Year Award of First for a Canadian. She is married to Rotarian Nick Christchick, a local family physician, they share a love for many things, including travel, cycling, golf, and relaxing at their family cottage. And they share a thirst for adventure, which has included cresting the summit of Mount Kilimanejo in Tanzania, Africa. She'll be designated as the Rotary's president in the year 22-23. Moreover, she is the first woman in the 116 years of Rotary's history to hold this position. We are all extremely proud of you, Madame. Congratulations, Bujet Notre Inspiration. Now we present before you our chief guest, RIPN, Rotarian Jennifer E. Jones, Madame Sil Bukle. Thank you, ma'am. We are really fortunate enough that we are having an opportunity to witness such a great personality here. She is definitely a pride and an inspiration for every woman. May I now kindly request our honorable chief guest, RIP and Rotarian, Madam Jennifer E. Jones, to kindly address the meeting. Good evening, namaste, and merci beaucoup for the incredible introduction and including some of my own language from, uh, from Canada, uh, the language of French. It is a joy to be able to be here tonight to celebrate with you peace and harmony through diversity, equity, and inclusion, and in particular, the cultural celebration of music and dance. What a better way to understand how the world comes together as one, Madam President, as you said, that the world is one. And we do that so well and so poignantly and so beautifully through the celebration of our different cultural traditions. And the dance and music from your country is one that definitely um, joins the world together. Tonight, I uh, selected to participate wearing uh, one of the saris that I own. 
And I, uh, I did call one of my very good friends who was on this call, Shima Shri Sen, to, uh, to show her this in advance to make sure I wasn't insulting anyone by the way that I was uh, doing it up because I'm, I'm not perfect at doing it up, but I wanted to make sure that on a night that we were celebrating culture that I was paying honor and tribute to your beautiful culture. And there's nothing more that I love than putting on a sari and uh, a bindi and uh, being able to be with all of my friends in India. So to all of you, um, certainly in District uh, 3262, it is a honor and a pleasure. All of the dignitaries, the district governors, governors elect, governors nominee, president, Madam President, um, organizer, Dr. Smita, everyone uh, who is on this call, please let me just say all protocols observed and everyone is, uh, is duly recognized. I love how inclusive this meeting is, and um, in the, the um, description of uh, all of the people who are here together, uh, both Rotarians and non-Rotarians, members of the public, uh, members of organizations that you support, what a better way to punctuate how we all can live together as one. And it is really uh, an incredible opportunity to be able to share in a dialogue now I know that uh, I have prepared some comments and some remarks to, uh, to offer to you this evening, but I also understand that there is a chance for some questions and answers, and I very much would like to get to that part of the program so that we could become more interactive and more dynamic instead of just uh, my talking with you. I would very much like to hear from you. That's one of the ways that we learn from each other when we sit down and dialogue and understand that we have differences from country to country, from continent to continent, but we are one world and our hearts all beat the same way. I think that quite honestly, the COVID pandemic has punctuated this more powerfully than ever. Understanding that every man, woman and child on the planet has had to traverse through this, this global pandemic and it has been incredibly painful um, for many families, it has been incredibly painful for many people who have found themselves sick. But we do have hope, hope right now on the horizon, hope that vaccines are coming to our countries so that we can protect ourselves, so that we can be safe. Because one of the things I know that I am looking forward to is a day very soon where once again travel becomes possible. It's one of the ways that we create peace and harmony in our world is through global understanding, the hallmark of what Rotary is all about. When we have the chance to visit another country, to honor the culture of a country, to learn from each other. World peace through understanding is one of the ways which Rotary um, performs the, the act of thinking where we know that if we understand our neighbors, we're less likely to want to war with them. And so I am very proud that I belong to this organization and I'm very proud for all of you that belong to this organization, which makes it a priority to say that, that world peace is possible. It is possible because of evenings like tonight. Diversity, equity and inclusion is something that we are paying a lot more attention to as an organization right now. As you all know, diversity has been one of our core values since our inception. However, I think we all know we need to do a better job of reflecting our communities in each of our clubs. And diversity is shown in many ways, shapes and forms. Diversity of age, diversity of gender, diversity of culture, of race, of religion, of sexual orientation, there are many different ways that we look at diversity, but what we do know is that we are strongest as an organization, as a club, as a district, when we properly reflect those who exist in our communities, the leadership in each of the different sectors, sectors of our community. If we all looked at things the same way, we would only solve problems through one unique lens. But because we bring together a tapestry of people, we're able to look at things a little bit differently. And because of that, it creates a platform for us to solve the world's 
most pressing challenges because we see things in a different way, even more uniquely than our own governments. It's what the strength of Rotary has been all about. Now, as we make diversity, equity, and inclusion a priority in our organization, we have to do certain things to make it a priority, don't we? So one of the things that we've done is we have adopted a diversity, equity, and inclusion statement, putting it into the forefront, putting emphasis on this so that people understand this is a priority. The second thing that we did was form an international global task force that's being chaired by our incoming Vice President Valerie Wafer, one of my colleagues from Canada as well. And she has collected an ensemble of Rotarians from all corners of the world and Rotaractors to be able to help us understand through research what are the differences that we need to be able to address and how can we create a toolkit, a toolkit for our clubs, for our districts with tools that help us to have um, challenging conversations that can help us navigate territory where we understand our differences, but respect and are able to work together. That's one of the hallmarks of what we do best. We respect our different cultures across the globe. That task force is right now in the midst of doing some very valuable research. And I will, um, in 2022, be looking to move that research into the hands of clubs and districts so that we can have meaningful dialogue about what diversity, equity, and inclusion means to each and every one of us and how it can strengthen our bonds from person to person, from city to city, country to country, across the globe, spreading peace and harmony. I love that Dr. Smita talked about the peace within ourselves. The peace within ourselves is something that we all have to cultivate daily. And the reason that we have to spend time doing it is that we need to be intentional about our thinking. We need to think about how we create peace within ourselves, whether it is through meditation, through prayer, through mindful thinking, even just sitting in solitude to reflect upon things that are going on in the world, to be appreciative of nature, like we saw in the beautiful videos at the very beginning of this, play, uh, when they were, you were playing both the Indian and the Canadian national anthems, the animals living in harmony, um, nature being able to be reflective of different things like this. When we create that peace within ourselves, I believe very power that it allows us the opportunity to, then to spread peace to each other to be rooted in a grounded place and not in a place where energy is racing. If we can do that, we're going to move ourselves as a global population forward in very profound ways. Now, there are many other ways that diversity, equity, and inclusion plays out in Rotary and in our world. It was mentioned that the environment, we need needing to take care of our environment that is very, very important. And as you know, in just a few months time, on July 1st, at the beginning of the new Rotary year, the environment becomes a seventh area of focus for Rotary. I am elated that we are taking this opportunity at this critical juncture in our history to say that the environment is important and creating harmony and balance and peace in our world through our environment is critically important. We know this. We see it through the activities and the natural disasters that play out across the globe every single day, many of them affected by our own personal actions. So what can we do as Rotarians, even just little things that add up to big change? How can we do some of these things to make a profound difference in our world? Well, on July 1st, we're gonna to start to see how, because Rotarians are already lining up, saying that they want to do this project and that project, and, and asking for global grants to be able to, to execute different work that we're looking to do. So it's an incredible time, an incredible time for us as individuals to harness that, to change literally the face of our planet. 
Now, another way I see us raising up diversity, equity, and inclusion is the Elevate Rotaract movement. We have been so intentional for the past couple of years of recognizing younger leaders in our organization, asking them to step forward, to showcase their leadership ability, and recognize that just because there is a difference in age doesn't mean there is a difference in our ability to make and create change. I firmly believe that the relationship between Rotary and Rotaract can't be like this. It has to be like this. We have to be able to learn from each other. Our Rotaractors are digital natives who have lived in this territory their whole lives. We have so much to be able to share and to learn from each other. And I am so proud that we are seeing Rotaractors elevating themselves and being elevated by others in Rotary districts around the world. And to those of you who are Rotaractors on the call, thank you. Thank you for being part of the family of Rotary. And thank you for making this a priority in your life. Final thing that I'll touch on, the obvious one from a diversity standpoint, from my perspective, is stepping forward as our first female president. Now, I will be the first to say that I am very proud and honored and feel very privileged and humbled to be serving in this role. But I also will be the first to tell you that I very firmly believe I was selected because I was qualified and not just because we simply thought it was time to have a woman. That being said, I will never apologize for being a female leader. I think it's important that we step forward. And we may be but isn't that what diversity, equity, and inclusion is all about? And so I think it's an opportunity for us to now look toward um, different kinds of leadership and perhaps for women in our organization and men to be able to say, if she can do it, so can I. And hopefully that will inspire others to say, maybe this is part of my own leadership journey. Maybe I should be looking at something like this if you want to and knowing that it can be possible. I believe that with only 23 or 24 percent of women in our organization as members, we have a long way to go. And not because we just simply need to bring women in, but let's look at it from a business perspective. If you, all of us as business owners, we had an underperforming market share, wouldn't we do something about that? We would. This is an underperforming market share because we know that half of the global population is women. So we need to identify um, women and bright women and bright men across, across our countries and tap them and say, you know, I believe that you are already a Rotarian. We just need to make it official. People who have the heart, the head and the mind of a Rotarian who just don't know it yet. And like I said, I just think we have a better business opportunity to increase the number of women in our organization. And so I look forward to the days and weeks and months to come when we start to truly integrate diversity, equity, and inclusion in the most special way in our Rotary Clubs and in our lives. And for continued dialogue and celebrations like this, where we hold these truths up high, that we know that we can be our very best when we allow everyone to shine their brightest. So thank you so much for including me here tonight in this beautiful celebration. I'm very excited to see the cultural performances and to be able to share this time with you. And now I know that there's an opportunity to uh, have some questions and uh, I would welcome the opportunity to share some additional thoughts. So let me turn it back over to our very talented Masters of Ceremony. Yeah, extremely grateful for those inspiring and beautiful lines. Thank you, ma'am. I shall request an audio-visual introduction of the District Governor Sir, Jotarian Dr. Swami Ranjan Mishra to be presented. Jotarian Swami Ranjan Mishra, major donor, is an advocate by profession and practicing in the original side of the Odisha High Court, including lower courts. Well versed in mercantile law, taxation and labor law, 
He was the secretary of Katak Bar Tax Bar Association for the period 1998 to 2000. He has undergone training in Alternative Dispute Resolution ADR in the year 2001 from American Center Kolkata. He joins Rotary in 2000 and Charter Secretary of the Rotary Club of Bhuvaneshwar Conference, Conference in the year 2008. He was recipient of Outstanding President Award in the year 2010 to 11, and in the same year, his club was awarded Significant Achievement Award by RI President Ray Klingen Smith in recognition of outstanding and significant community service efforts. He has received the most prestigious award of Rotary Foundation Citation for Meritorious Service in the year 2016-17. He is a regular contributor to the Rotary Foundation and recognized as Major Donor Level 1. He is also a benefactor and a member of the Paul Harris Society. He is also the recipient of Service of Self Award for 2018-19. His spouse, PP Rotarian Sarita Mishra, is a major donor. They are blessed with the son Ankit and graduate engineer serving in the high radius technologies Hyderabad and Ashmi studying in standard 9 at DPS Kalinga. It is a pleasure for each one of us to have such a vibrant personality in this event. Sir, please address the crowd with your kind words. Yes. Uh, good evening to all of you, uh, respected RIPN uh, Jennifer. Really, it's a wonderful moment uh, in addressing this gathering. Actually, uh, while the meeting starts, uh, I was in driving mode, uh, returning to my office. Uh, right now, in my office only, I could be able to connect through uh, mobile phone. Uh, yes, uh, Jennifer has rightly uh, pointed out DEI, which need the power and for our Rotary. And uh, I congratulate Bani Sengupta, the president of Rotary Club, new uh, Rotary Club Ekantakhetra for organizing such type of seminar. And I recognize Smita Sina for making this event a fruitful event for our district. Thank you for uh, this need-based seminar. Friends, the wave of globalization has been connecting all the countries of the world into a community to an unprecedented extent, which implies that a mankind society in its true sense is taking self. In the meantime, the significance of peace and harmony is being recognized by more and more far-sighted people. Peace and harmony is a basic prerequisite and development of mankind. A world deprived of peace and harmony certainly will fall apart the return to the jungle era in which the strong prey on the wreck, with exchange becoming increasingly frequent, diversity is not only a description of the status of the world as a whole, it is also a reflection of the reality of most countries. It can be forcing that cultural diversity of the world as a whole in the future will take root in the cultural diversities of his reason. I congratulate Bani Sengupta and Smita Sinha. Both are generously taken this step to make this cultural show seminar for the district. And I must congratulate the members of Rotary Club Ekamra Khetra for organizing this type of 
seminar and thank you very much jai jagat Thank you, sir, for your extremely appreciable oration. Here we can have an interaction session where our respected dignitaries would come up with their queries to have a discussion with our esteemed chief guest, our IPL, Rotarian Madam Jones. Thank you. Yes, you. Shubhashan sir, you are on mute. Okay. Good evening. Namaskar, Madam. This is Prabhudat Subodhi. Who will be proud to work under you. And really, you are looking gorgeous in the sarees. And you look like an Indian daughter-in-law. <laughs> Bohu. So, Madam, please share a story or any event that uh, any club or any district of uh, has done under the peace and conflict, so that we will be inspired to do in our district or in. our country well let me tell you a personal story um it it will a couple of it but this is one that um resonates profoundly with me about the ability to perhaps change someone's thinking which is i think the root of creating peace um is allowing people to open their minds i live in an international district that uh, goes between canada and the united states and when i was serving as a stripper i would travel back and forth hundreds of times to visit uh, the many clubs on the us side of the border and one day i was crossing and i came face to face with a guard who appeared to not be having a good day i think that many of you have perhaps encountered a similar kind of customs officer and he looked at me and he said where are you going and i said i'm going to a rotary meeting and he barked back rotary what's rotary and so perhaps i was a little bit cheeky but i said would you like the long version or the short version and he said just tell me what it is and so i told him we're a global organization of men and women united across the globe performing good work and service humanitarian service and he looked at me and he said what do you really do and i said well let me tell you a little bit about my club And so I told him about the programs and the projects and the service that we did, some of our fundraisers. He started to lean in a little bit. He wanted more. So I started to tell him about polio and clean water and health and hunger and literacy and child and maternal care. Polio? Polio's gone, he said. And I said, "Yes, sir, polio is gone in many countries. At that time, we still had four. We now know two remaining endemic countries, and Rotarians are working tirelessly to ensure that every child receives two life-saving drops." And he looked into my eyes again and he said, "Wow. You mean to tell me that there are that many people in the world that have that much extra time on their hands?" And I said, "No, sir. There are that many people that have no time on their hands. We're committed to doing this good work, to changing our world." And he started to get a tear in his eye. And he said, "You have made my day." And I said, "No, sir. You made mine." And so today, it gives me the opportunity to share that message with you. about peace 
about how it changes each and every one of us through interchanges and exchanges, just like that, where we educate someone's mind and change it perhaps just a little bit so that we can be better. Okay, thank you. Do you have any specific program for 2022-23? Not that I'm going to share right now. <laughs> okay, thank you. Okay. Okay. We are Thank focused no. very much on supporting our president elect at this point, sir. <laughs> okay. So you may ask your question now. I think we can probably hear you. Hello. Perfect. Uh, uh, good evening. Uh, good evening, Jennifer, madam. Good evening to you. Namaskar. 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 We met first time at Indoor Institute. Yes, nice to see you again. Yes, yes. <laughs> so uh, it is like, no, we are fortunate that yes, in our district in 3262, this year we got you uh, first time and we heard about the DEI. DEI, no, like uh, in the International Assembly through virtually they have uh, taught us something about the DEI. And as we have understood that uh, Price Waterhouse has been given the responsibility to plan for the DEI how to have it uh, in our uh, Rotary uh, project. So DI, as you know, like uh, uh, my question is, like uh, what uh, RIPNs uh, uh, advise to incoming club leaders of Rotary year 21-22 regarding the DEI? Thank you very much, Governor-elect, and I hope that you enjoy the virtual leave this year and uh, just know that we stand all together behind you and your class and President-elect Shaker in making sure that you have the very best year that you possibly can have. And thank you very much for your leadership. Uh, in terms of what clubs and districts can do for diversity, equity, and inclusion, I think, you know, as, I, as I've expressed, one of the most important things is that we need to actually talk about it. And so having meetings like tonight is so critically important because we all get a chance to understand that collectively, you know, one person can make a difference, but one person needs to speak up so that all can join into the dialogue. And so it's that power of one to help change the way that we think about things. We don't need to change everything that we think. There's lots of good things that we already do. But if we're going to properly reflect our communities and those that we serve, having open and transparent dialogue about how we can do it better. Perhaps conversations, challenging conversations about how we can reduce conflict in our clubs. Mm -hmm. You know, is there, is there easier ways to settle disputes sometimes when they happen? How can we be intentional in making sure that everyone is respected for the contributions that they make? We all in every part of the world have to be very intentional about these kinds of conversations. And, and, and it has to be something that we think about because sometimes we don't realize that perhaps we're undermining someone through the way that we speak. Um, ways that have maybe been traditions of the way that we frame um, you know, a different kind of person, but how hurtful it can be um, through the, when we're able to see through their eyes. So I think we need to have you know, open dialogue. And I think that that's very healthy for us, regardless of what country we're in. We all can do better. And I think that if we're going to create world peace and harmony, as we're talking about tonight, then the first step of that journey begins with dialogue. So what is your suggestion? Like in USA, a lot of clubs are there. They don't allow the black people to become their member. So what is your suggestion? Like uh, in India, 
like uh, we are not having that type of reservations but uh, uh, we are giving more focus on two different cultures and different uh, no like uh, diversity we are focusing on diversity so mm -hmm. what what do you want to introduce uh, for <laughs> yes. tell me well i think that it's an interesting question that you raise because um quite honestly i think that the dialogue about diversity equity and inclusion may be a little bit different and a little unique from country to country you mentioned, for example, in the United States with African American or Black people, and um, I, I heard one. I had I heard one instance the other day of of someone who was um, being very raci racially derogatory towards um, a, a Black member of of a Rotary Club. Um, quite honestly, in my opinion, that can't be tolerated. Um, the that that is not something that I would allow in our Rotary. Um, we have to see each other for our strengths and we have to understand that diversity rec represents many, many different things. Now, as I say, it also means that from country to country, it may be different. And the dialogue about diversity may be different in one country. In one country, perhaps the most important part of the dialogue about diversity, um, equity and inclusion might be about age. It might be because we need to address that younger people aren't perhaps being permitted to join. In another country, it might be that age and gender is the most important part of the dialogue and having honest dialogue about that. As you pointed out, maybe in the United States, uh, age and gender and race might be a very important part of the dialogue. Um, so I think that it's very important to recognize what is, my apologies, um, I think it's most important to recognize what is important to your community and then to, to, to make sure that you um, put the dialogue around what it is, that you, where you need to move things forward. So if the dialogue in your district is about wanting to increase and improve age and gender, then focus on that. If it's about um, class and race, uh, perhaps that's the most important part of the dialogue. And that's the, that's the hard work that we need to do as we enter into these discussions, is to really give a, a, a strong thought to, where do we need to make the change? Where do we need to have the open dialogue? Now, let me be very clear, that doesn't mean that we should open our floodgates mm. for everyone to join our organization. We have, you know, we, we have criteria to be members of Rotary, but we also have the ability to see within each of the diversity, diverse perspectives that we bring to the table, how people are leaders in each of those areas. And we bring leaders in and we create better leaders. Thank you, thank you. So what is your personal uh, like suggestion for this 3262? Like why, how should we go about this DI? We'll have a DI, uh, district chair for DI, or in the club level also, we should have one coordinator or chairman for DI. Global level, we should have a DI uh, coordinator, and district level, we should have a DI chairman. If you can do all of that, I will give you a big virtual hug right now. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That is the way to make that happen: is to make sure that at every level we're having the appropriate dialogue. And, and then to compare notes with each other and to see where it is you know, that we can do better. There's an example of a, of a Rotary Club in uh, California and they, they were, I don't know, 50 or 60 members and this is several years ago. And they had an exchange student from, I think it was, uh, it might've been from Japan. And the student stood up at one point and he said, you know, this, the community that we live in has a lot of Asians. I recognize, you know, many people in our community who look like me. How come there's nobody in this Rotary Club who looks like that? And yes, so yes, they yes. they they had this light bulb moment where it was like, wow, you're you're right. We don't look like that. And so now that club, um, my understanding is they went from 50 or 60 members to over 250 members, and they're incredibly diverse. And one of their hallmark signature events is uh, as an Asian oriented um, fund, uh, fund par uh, fundraising party where they celebrate diversity. How cool is that? And it took a young person again, you know, we, we can't dis dismiss the ideas that come from all different ages. 
that that one person who was able to say how come this is like this and for everyone else to go yeah we need to change that we need to, we need to do better at that that's what i hope yes. for all of us thank you madam thank you and uh, we shall look forward to hear from you again and again thank you <laughs> प्रोग्राम हुच इज गोईंग टू अनफोल्ड more justly in the coming day years but only one thing i have one doubt and uh, i i think there is a gray area between equity and equality uh, uh, so far i i am i believe equity is the means and equality is the outcome but more often than not we confuse or we uh, join together equity and equality we talk to and there lies a little, little a uh, gray area uh, which i need uh, that if you can explain it later, better my doubt will be clear what is equity and what equality then only inclusion will come uh, can you just uh, spare some of your time to tell me that sure it's um it's it's a very it's a very poignant question it's a deep question and there's a lot of research that um is being done um on both of those words and how you know they do have different application and different meaning and um you know equity certainly from the standpoint of of well equity and equality um i think equity ta- takes us into it's a, it's a complicated topic isn't it it's uh it's it's not an easy one it's not an easy one necessarily always to explain um but i do think that i'm trying to break it down into into both pieces here to be madam i am feeling that when we call what what we call inclusion it must be very clearly defined what is the difference between you told that you are something today you are ripn because you justify that and we deserve that you are qualified for that so there must be i what i believe there must be a level playing ground for everybody, everybody should be given a uh, 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 playing field uh, so that they can show their uh, uh, caliber and their quality so they can be become there but uh, for that there are processes and equity i i i am i am still doubt they, what for what is for equality uh, without uh, uh, equity and uh, i think they, it has been uh, sometimes it has been misdefined that uh, uh, suppose somebody uh, If the if diversified means you just uh, irrespective of your quality and caliber you are taken in because you are black and you are white or you are uh, sexual disposition uh, your sexual orientation or you are a woman or a man like that so i think you told me that uh, in the coming year you are having a task force to go deep into that matter i will request that because this, that needs also close observation and this should be need to be defined so that there will no gray areas for the coming leaders to work on that that's my suggestion yeah no i i i think as i say this is a it's a deep it's a deep um it's a deep subject and you're right that's why there's research being done on it so that we can best you know um put the 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 guard rails around what we mean in terms of each of these different words and i think you're right that if we are looking to increase diverse populations as i said just a few minutes ago we're not looking to open the floodgates um just just as we're you know we we're not looking just to bring women in for the sake of bringing women in we're not looking to bring in younger members just for the sake of bringing in younger members we need to be intentional about how we um how we define who belongs in our organization and uh but we we have an opportunity to be more equitable and to have equity um in in how we look at those but it doesn't change you know the fact that you still have to be a person of high ethical standards that you have to you know observe the objects of rotary you have to live the four way test those are things that are fundamental our core values 
These are things that are fundamental to who we are that don't, that shouldn't change. They're the bedrock of who we're looking for, for people to be in Rotary. We want the best of the, of the best and the brightest. Um, we just want to make sure that we're not closing the door, um, that inclusion um, door to people who might um, be incredible members, but because we have some, someone in our club who says, eh, they don't look like me. So you know what? No, they're not going to be allowed into our club. How do, we, how do we open that inclusion door to make sure that equity is possible? Does that help? The dialogue will continue. The di dialogue will continue because it's a very new subject, and it yes. has a deep meaning. is a very big, profound meaning. And as the days continue, we will know more about that. Yes. Uh, my Thank second you. is that a friendship exchange, uh, Madam. Friendship exchange is an international exchange program that allows participants to take turns hosting one another in their homes and clubs. And the themes of uh, friendship exchange are culture, service, and vocational. But though vocational is also a part of that, VTT is being funded by uh, foundation, but uh, friendship exchange is not funded by foundation. Why? Because friendship exchange, as you discussed, it brings peace, harmony, cultural, yeah, all these things are cynic to the peace and conflict uh, area focus in the focus. So can you just uh, think that why this big program, this program, which is a lot of impact on peace and uh, culture of peace and uh, conflict prevention will not be funded by foundation as VTT is being funded by foundation. So let me just clarify. I wanna make sure that I'm understanding your question correctly because you mentioned vocational service. You're saying cultural exchange, but do you, are you referencing the former group study exchange experience where it was it was more of a vocational or uh, were uh, just just cultural or you, you want the vocational aspect just help me clarify that no no madam friendship exchange includes culture service as well as vocation which vtt also includes vtt right. exclusively talks about uh, training and vocational training but uh, cultural exchange or uh, Friendship exchange is a, in that is a component. It is one of the components. Right. So why right. can't we have, uh, that is also for part people, because as you, as it is admitted that the in friendship exchange, the clubs and the district uh, are really, they have a lot of burden, financial burden on that. If a part of that is funded by foundation, as in the case of VTT, it will be very uh, easy for the clubs and the district to have friendship exchange, which is a paramount importance for peace and conflict, peace building and conflict. Right, so, so okay, let me just clarify. The crux of the question is why are we not funding it through the foundation? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, yes. so uh, they're exchange. funded by, right, so they're the cultural exchange. So they're funded by the district um, and some districts yes. are interested yes. in doing them and some, you know, yes. some are, are perhaps are perhaps not. Um, and so we know, um, you know, from the, dialogue that we're having here this evening that when we when we break bread with someone from another culture it's as i said earlier it, it's it's much more difficult to war with someone when you've become friends with them so it is absolutely critical um, to our building world peace through understanding to understand our different cultures um, it is it is something though that we rely on the districts to be able to fund and um, I believe that through um, district uh, funds that come back through the Rotary Foundation, some of that can be funded in, th in that regard. Um, so I think that uh, continuing on with that and making that program flourish is a wonderful idea. It just doesn't exist in every uh, different district. And so I, I think that it needs to be, for it to be fair and, and equitable across the districts, it's taken care of uh, when it's made a priority in each of them. I hope that helps. This informative session shall now be followed up by the release of souvenir for our chief, esteemed chief guest. May I now 
take this opportunity to request respected DESPP Rotarian Susanta Kumar Mahapatra to conclude the inaugural ceremony with his words of gratitude. Very good evening to all. I am grateful to the organizers of this seminar, especially to Dr. Banishan Gupta, smiling president of Rotary Club of Bhuvan Sarekambra Khetra, for giving me this opportunity to express gratitude. On behalf of our Adi 362, I express my humble thanks all members of Rotary Club of Bhuvan Sarekambra Khetra for their flawless planning and implementation in organizing such a beautiful virtual seminar. We are extremely grateful for the august virtual presence of our chief guest, none other than our beloved RI president nominee, Jennifer E. Jones. Our talk was quite motivating, and I'm sure it will help us in increasing Rotary speech and fellowship in few folds. Our sincere thanks to smiling district governor, Samiranjan Mishra. Your extensive image building techniques and speech will definitely inspire all clubs of our district in a very positive manner. We are thankful for the presence of PDG Samasri Shen, EPNC Zone 6, PDG Oshunikar, PDG Dilip Patnaik, PDG Shivabhatadas, PDG Santanupani, and DJ Prabhudan Sobhuti, and all members of Council of Governors of Paradigm 362, also many DGNs from different districts. Our humble thanks to famous choreographer Dr. Nolani Rao of New York, Bharatanatyam performer Maya Rao Kurti, and classical Odisha dancer P.P. Rajalakshmi Mahapatra, who is the charter president of the host club, Pathak and Odisha classical dancer Bharati Mishra for their marvelous cultural performance, which will be followed after this. We also submit our heartiest thanks to the singers Dr. Bani Shen Gupta, Vitinanda Rautrai, Hari Krishna Patnaik, District Advisor Rotary and Girish Puprasad Mahanti, Parmishta Singh, Pati, Anchor Rotractor, uh, uh, Shivangi Das, Protector Rohit Mahanti for their valuable time to make this seminar a memorable one. Our special thanks to the program coordinator, Dr. Smita Sina, for her nice coordination in arranging this type of international seminar. Lastly, we express our sincere thanks to the dignitaries, smiling presidents, Rotarians from different clubs, protectors, interpreters, RCC, or uh, Armand members, members from both print and electronic media for encouraging the team with their valuable presence and help, and also to the Mohit of the studio for the smooth management of this seminar. Thank you. Jai Rotary. Thank you so much, sir, for your fine deliverance. And that marks the end of the inaugural ceremony for today. But please be patient enough as we shall now continue unfolding the evening with an extravaganza of cultural events. But before that, we would like to thank all our sponsors, Mrs. Lucy Patnaik, MGM, Minerals Limited, Cesar Patnaik and Jaya Patnaik, and Rotarian Pradeep Kumar Dash, and MPHF, and Anne Smarita Dash. Now put a variety of world views into one room and you will come out the other side with better ideas. Diversity plays a vital role in the progress and prosperity of mankind. In order to create true equality of opportunity, equity is needed to ensure that everyone has the same chance of getting there. Equity is a worthy goal in itself because of its moral implications and its intimate link between fairness and social justice. But there is something else too which is important for every individual. Oh, really? What is it, Rohit, that you want us to know? A sense of belonging and engagement is something that keeps us grounded towards our goals. That comes through inclusion. Absolutely. So, with a diversity in cultures, equity in latitude, and inclusion in attitude, here we go to start off with revealing of the treasures hidden in the bosom of the splendid twilight. Bharat Natyam. Bha for bhavam means expression, ra for ragam means music, ta for talam means beat or rhythm, and natyam means dance in Tamil. Bharat Natyam, also previously called Sadhir Atam, is the oldest Indian classical dance form 
originated in the Tanjore district of Tamil Nadu and regarded as the mother of many other classical dance forms of India. Now let us put our hands together for a huge round of applause and welcome Maya Rao Murthy, a Bharatnatyam performer, Natu Natuvanar, Mridangist, the Associate Director of the Natya Anubhava Dance Academy from New York, USA. She shall now showcase a Bharatnatyam dance with the themes Anyatha Nasti, A Vision of Harmony, Unik Obawa, choreographed by Nalini Rao and Maya Rao Murthy, and Shiva Tandava, choreographed by Priyadarshini Govind. I now present Wanike Obaba, a true story from the 18th century, taking place in Chitradurga, Karnataka. The Chitradurga fort had held out against Haider Ali's army, despite repeated and repeated attempts to penetrate. One day, Haider Ali's army, Haider Ali saw that in the fort, there was a small hole through which a dog was able to come through. Seeing this, he devised a plan that each member of his army, one by one, would go through the hole and sneak in and penetrate the fort. That same day, Obaba had just come back and her husband, who was guarding the fort, had come back home. She asked him, are you hungry? Have you eaten anything? Do you need water? She realized she needed to go to the river to get the water. So she leaves and goes to the river. As she's gathering the water, she hears something isn't quite right. The birds have stopped singing. Her hairs are standing up on end. And as she walks over to look, she sees that everywhere the fort is surrounded by Haider Ali's army. And she sees how they are planning to go through this hole. She realizes she doesn't have time. The guards are not to be seen. There's nobody around. And if she does not act quick, every child, woman, man, nobody will be there. This fort will be no more. So, she picks up her wunaki, her pounding stick that she had brought to clean, takes it and hides behind the hole. As each member of the army, each soldier comes in, she bashes him on the head and drags his body away quickly coming back to the spot to take the next member. And like this, she single-handedly kills off every single member of the army. And just as she's about done, her husband walks in and sees that his wife is surrounded by the dead bodies and wonders what has happened to my wife and calls out. Obaba stops what she's doing and looks up to hear his call. And in that moment, the last member comes in, sees what has happened around him and stabs her and she passes away. However, 
She had saved her fort that day. She had single-handedly saved her fort. Showing the strength, the courage, the intelligence a woman shattering generations of stereotypes. When we heard this story, we asked a Dwaraki, Srimati Dwaraki Krishnaswami to, to put it to words. So she put it to words. This was sung by Vasudha and the Natwangam is by Praveen Kumar. This was choreographed Parts were choreographed by my mother, Dr. Nandi Rao, and parts were choreographed by me. Enjoy.
Maya will now present a beautiful piece on Shiva. It begins with a verse often chanted as the second Anuvaka and Sri Rudram, Namaste to Bhagavan Vishweshwaraya Mahadevaya. Our salutations to you, Bhagavan, who holds all Bhaga, who is everywhere, who is the Lord of all, the one who has three eyes, the sun, the moon and the fire, the light which illumines all around and the light which illumines us within, the fire of knowledge which destroys our ignorance and gives us insight, the omniscient one, the one with a single arrow who destroyed the Tripuras, the three cities of the great Asuras who had become full of ignorance and ego. It could also refer to the three states of the dreamer, the sleeper and the one who's awake. When we lose our identification as a sleeper, the waker, the dreamer, and identify with the essence, we are with Shiva. He is time, the fire we devours all, past, present, and future. And when we lose our identification with the past and the future, or in this shana, in this moment, we are with Shiva, and He is the Swarupa of this moment. He is Rudra, the one who gives us a karma phala and who sheds tears of compassion at our pain. He is Mahadeva, the Lord of all gods. He is Nilakanta, the blue throat one. When we look at the cosmos and see the sky, the blue skies, we know that's him. It also harkens to the Puranas where he consumed the poison released in the Samudra Mathana of the Asuras. But he did not enter his heart, painted his neck a beautiful blue. He is beyond time, beyond space, beyond death. Nityam Jayaya, one who has his grace, Yama cannot approach that soul. It harkens also to the story in the Puranas of Mark and Deya. Om Shiva made the immortal one. He's everywhere, which gives us such hope. Sarveshwaraya, always pure. Where there's purity, there's, where there's truth and there's beauty, there is Shiva. Sada Shivaya, you always have Sri with you, Sriman, the Devi is ever present with you. To you, Sriman, Mahadevaya, I can only offer you my namaskars, Namaha. This verse is then followed by 
beautiful jati given by Srimati Priyadarshni Govind Om Namah Shivaya on the Panchakshari in which we visualize Nataraja the dancer who creates and who destroys. The one who says, come to me, do not fear, I will destroy your ignorance and uplift you. In this dance, we too dissolve. The singer for the verse is Srimati Nila Ramanujan. The Natwangam there is by Sri Prasanna. The vocal and the Natwangam for the Jati is by Srimati Dvaritta. Marvelous. Thank you, ma'am. This was, for sure, an artistic, awestruck performance. In each of us lies good and bad, light and dark, choice and regret, cruelty and sacrifice. Nothing can portray these complexities as subtly as music. Inviting Dr. Bani Sengupta, a singer and the president of Rotary Club of Bhuvaneshwar, Ekamra Shetra, for the year 2021, 2020 to 2021, to sing a song that would gear up the zest. 
शिविल सिंह अजीब दास्ता है ये विच मीन्स वॉट अ स्ट्रेन स्टोरी दिस इज दिस इज फ्रॉम द बॉलीवुड फिल्म दिल अपना और प्रीत पराया ओरिजिनली सॉन्ग बाई लता मंगेशकर दिस विल बी फॉलोड बाई अ सॉन्ग बाई मिस्टर हरे कृष्ण पटनायक हु सिंगिंग द सॉन्ग पल पल दिल के पास विच मीन्स दैट यू आर नियर माई हार्ट एवरी सिंग अ मोमेंट फ्रॉम द बॉलीवुड फिल्म ब्लैक मेल ओरिजिनली सॉन्ग बाई किशोर कुमार
अजीब दासता है कहा शुरू कहा खत्म ये मंजिले हैं कौन से ना वो समझ सके न हम चल लहराए हर रात यादों की बारात ले आए मैं सांस लेता हूँ तेरी खुशबू आती है एक महका महका सा पैगाम लाती है मेरे दिल के धड़कन भी कर गीत गाती है पल पल दिल के पास तुम रहती को देखा था मैंने अपने आंगन में जैसे कह रही थी तुम मुझे बाल बंधन में ये कैसा रिश्ता है ये कैसे सपने हैं बेगाने होकर भी क्यों लगते अपने हैं तुम यू ही सराते रहना अर डर के कहता हूँ पल पल दिल के पास तुम रहती हो क्यों इतना मैं तुमसे प्यार करूं तुम समझोगी दीवाना मैं भी इकरार करूं दीवानों की ये बातें दीवाने जानते हैं जलने में क्या मजा है परवाने जानते हैं तुम यूं ही जलाते रहना 
आ आकर खाबो में पल पल दिल के पास तुम रहती हो जीवन मीठी प्यास ये कहती हो पल पल दिल के पास तुम रहती हो थैंक यू thank you it's only in song that joy and grief appear equally precious without much ado let me introduce you to our next performer dr nalini rao murthy from new york usa dr nalini rao is a dancer choreographer a teacher of bharatnatyam and an educator based in new york so fasten your seat belts and enjoy this self choreographed classical performance madhura mina a conversation with the goddess and anyatha nasti a poem written by dr nalini rao choreographed by dr nalini rao and maya rao murthy i see you do you see me I see you have dreams hopes Do you see me with my dreams my hopes I see you stride fearlessly all doors open to you your success attributed as your own yet generations of privilege nourish you you see me as the other we tip so fearfully we rest the doors open every success seen as a handout generations of trauma holding us back Your sense of entitlement stems from privilege. Your identity and acts of intimidation feed from your perception of color, caste, class, race, money, gender. Oh, privileged ones, are we such a threat to you? that every right has to be rested to blossom does your power derive from dividing and lording over the other does denying us opportunities feed your power remove your insecurities would a power shared diminish you Why do we negotiate for safe streets, a safe home, free from your violence, for affordable care and education, the right to vote, for equal representation, pay, opportunity to just be? Should it not be the other way around? that you control your violence we gave birth to you nourish you help you would you be here if not for us we ease your climb to the heights but you put us down colonize objectify dehumanize neither will prosper when we other it is not a zero sum game not us versus them disparity disdain division 
ends in discord. Bana, Daya, and Dhamma creates peace. I see you, a human with dreams and hopes. Do you see me? We are in this together, not as the other. Anyata nasty. Namaskar. I'm Nalini Rao. I'm the director of Natya Anubhava Dance Academy in New York. Today I present to you Madhura Madhura Meenakshi, a composition of Pooja Swami Dayana Saraswati. Here I present my hope that even though we're in the grip of the pandemic, which is killing indiscriminately, even though the virus of division and hate has us isolated, Yet, when I see the beauty of nature and hear the birds sing and watch the river flow and feel the breeze, I sense a presence, a divine presence, a protective presence. And I see her as Madhura Meenakshi. And I remember the stories of her courage and I too feel courageous. And I remember the stories told in the Puranas when the poison had been released and she came with Shiva and Shiva consumed the poison and she prevented it from entering his heart. And so now I'm full of hope for she is in every being, small and large. And so why fear? There's only love and her presence.
say dance is the hidden language of the soul and through this enchanting performance we could really connect with our souls thank you so much ma'am for the splendid performance let us now carry on with our next gig songs help us feel the thoughts a heart that carries melody is forever ble- forever blessed miss prithinanda rautre a former bmc ward number no. 6 corporator is a professional artist and a playback singer she has performed in all india radio and also as a tv artist she would share the following popular songs with us today ye raatein nayi purani meaning these nights new and old speak of many tales unfold from the bollywood film julie and originally sung by lata mangeshkar and lag ja gale meaning embrace me from the bollywood film वो कौन थी एंड संग बाय ओरिजिनली लता मंगेशकर
लग जा गले की फिर हसी रात हो न हो शायद फिर से जन्म मुलाकात हो न हो लग जा amazing mr rawtrek truly drew the strings of our hearts with a soothing voice here we are moving on to our next show a folk dance is developed by people which reflects the life of the people of a certain country or region presenting before you a santali folk dance with the theme bah enj sereng meaning flower song dance by the youth members of our rotary community corp rcc arman In our adopted village Chunakoli, the village is predominantly inhabited by the migrant Santali communities from Kyoshar and Mayurbhanj districts of Odisha. The dancers are Minati Murmu, Sumi Hemram, Sebati Hansda, Sita Hemram, Jhansi Rani Soren, Sonia Soren, Parvati Mardi, Sushila Maji, Lakshmi Mani Mardi, and the percussionists are uh, using uh, Tumdak Tamak and Tiriyao. Uh, they are Lochan Tudu and Gajanan Mardi. Have an enjoyable watch.
Yes, that was an incredible performance indeed, which totally fascinated the spectators. Dance is worship, a form of firm devotion that can uplift the soul to spiritual realms. Faith gives us inner strength, a sense of peace and perspective in life. Odissi, also referred to as Odissi in older literature, is a major ancient Indian classical dance that originated in the Hindu temples of Odisha based on the Jagannath culture. Gracing your screens will be next an Odissi classical dance by Professor Rajalakshmi Mahapatra. Professor Mahapatra is the charter president of Rotary Club of Bhuvaneshwar, Ekamrakshetra. She learned classical Odissi dance from late Guru Padma Vibhushan Kelu Charan Mahapatra Kala Vikash Kendra in the 60s. Now 71, Raj Lakshmi's passion for dance has defied age and has given her inner peace. She, along with her co-dancer Bharti Mishra, will be performing the Abhinas based on the theme of divine love, Lord Krishna's Ras Leela's Kahi Gale Murali Phunka and to Tolagi Gopadanda Mana, both choreographed by Guru Padma Vibhushan Kelu Charan Mahapatra. Have a great time enjoying the performance. classical dance. In the present piece, you have seen Radha pining for Krishna as his flute lures her. But the moment she finds Krishna and he tries to plead, Radha replies with false anger or say Abhiman, it is for him and for huge pranks only, she will be forced not to come to Jamuna or Gopodanda. Let us watch Tolaki Gopodanda Monare Kaliyasuna, a very popular lyric by Kavi Panamaritas. Tolaki Gopodanda Monare Kaliyasuna, Tolaki
wonder. This was a magnificent treat for the eyes. The performance was so energetic and captivating. We were truly engrossed into the aura of Gita Govinda blended with those charming classical gestures. The next chunk of sweet melody will be sung by Sharmila Singh Pati, a professional performing artist and a playback singer. She is currently pursuing her training in cl- Hindustani classical music. Miss Pati would come up with the song "E Mere Vatan Ke Logo," meaning "O oh People of My Country," a patriotic song. A song originally sung by Lata Mangeshkar.
lovely performance which triggered the patriotism in us the cartridge bullets the sacrifices and the blood sheds but yes the tone of music is still tickling the ear drums keep it up miss pati peace feels like a friend comforting you when you are sad peace is a flower blooming and the beauty is shared with everyone peace gives the ocean a color like no other peace is a song that brightens up your day With this we have come to the end of the seminar on peace and harmony through cultural exchange diversity equity and inclusion with an exclusive evening of cultural extravaganza unison we thank each of you for your august presence and efforts good night and have a great time now that marks the end of the events for the day concluding is tough get real so keeping this in mind i would kindly request our esteemed host club president Rotarian Dr. Bani Sen Gupta to give a closing remark for the function. I hope you have all enjoyed this program. We have reached the end of the seminar on peace and harmony through cultural exchange, diversity, equity and inclusion with cultural extravaganza called the Unision and it is my task to provide some closing remarks. as with all such events which included outstanding performance by eminent dancers dr nalini rao murthy and miss maya rao murthy an excellent dance show by our cp rajalakshmi mahapatro and bharati mishra in spite of her age a beautiful folk dance by the members of our rc c arman all the singers I would like to convey my special thanks to our chief guest RIPN retiree Jennifer E Jones for her gracious presence. I would also like to thank the Galaxy of District Governors, Friends in Rotary Fraternity, my Rotary friends RID 3262, our entire technical team and our audience and especially the viewers from Adruta Children Home. This seminar has been a formidable example. There is indeed plenty to reflect upon. and if this in any way enhances our individual and collective contributions to the meeting the global challenges for peace and harmony then the seminar can truly be adjudged a success thank you
I would like to convey my special thanks to the performers, organizers, the eminent Rotarians, Rotaractors, Interactors, RCC volunteers, and the other guests, and particularly RIPN Jennifer Jones. I am thankful to the entire galaxy of district governors, friends in Rotary fraternity and Rotarian friends, and the audience, which included viewers from Adruta Children Home. I also convey my notable thanks to the members of the host club. They have all put in enormous efforts to organize such a wonderful event night. Le last but not definitely the least, I convey my hearty thanks to the entire team of video hosting who have worked day and night to make this event a grand success. Thank you everyone. Now it's time for us to take a leave. Hope you had a great time with us here. Stay safe and good night. So with this, may I request our host club president, Rotarian Dr. Bani Sen Gupta to kindly adjourn the meeting. The meeting is adjourned.